Hi all, Mass Barnkop from Kaiser Power Electronics here. I have a big smile on my face because today we're taking a look at something that I purchased. It's in this huge packet and we're going to need a Tesla coil. So what is that? That is of course two very large plasma tubes. Let's get these on packets. A lot of uh, protective corners here and he did write glass. Now these uh, borosilicate plasma tubes are made by Chris Burak from Barracuda Glass in Canada. And I should of course also mention that this is not a sponsored video. So it seems like uh, it will slide out from the end here. And very nice to see that we have even more packaging. Even more bubble wrap. And there we have it. That is 750 millimeter long, 70 millimeter in diameter borosilicate glass and I don't know if you can it's like it has a slight purple or blue glow to it but it is filled with the uh, iodine argon and krypton so as you can see from the thumbnail it is with a blue glow while you might only hear a faint hiss from the Tesla coil and it's only giving about yeah about a centimeter of discharge right now that is more than enough radiated RF energy to light up these huge tubes. I'll just have to bring them close enough to the Tesla coil to excite the gas inside. And as we can see, it also brings the Tesla coil into tune. The added capacitive load of these is actually enough to change the resonant frequency of my Tesla coil. I mean, is this cool or what? Let's try with the tester coil at a higher input voltage. So now I have about 20 to 25 centimeters of discharge. And as you can see, the RF field around the Tesla coil is actually not that much stronger. But the sound of the spark is, of course, uh, much louder. I did not just buy two of these very large plasma tubes to play around with them with my Tesla coils. It is to be installed as a wall display in my electronics lab in the basement once that is done. What we are going to need here is a driver putting out a RF AC waveform in order to excite the gas inside. And with different frequencies and different waveforms, you get different patterns in the tube. So I will have to think of something that can drive a variety of frequencies. I think the output power needed for driving two tubes is something in the range of 200 to 300 watt. What first comes to mind when driving something with a wide uh, frequency range would be a flyback driver ranging from some 20 kilohertz up to 150 kilohertz. And then maybe Tesla coils for the upper range. And I do have a lot of vacuum tubes lying around, so what would be more fitting than building something like a new vacuum tube Tesla coil to drive these two nice plasma tubes. But that is a project for another time. So until then, see ya.